Are you in the market for a waterproof tail bag for ADV or dual sport motorcycles? One that is large enough to hold moto camping gear, but isn't too bulky? How about a tail bag that turns into a backpack? Well, you're in the right place. There's a lot of things that I like about this backpack after owning it for the last two years. And there's one thing that I'm sort of on the fence about. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is James and I've been doing motorcycle content for about two years now. I've been on quite a few overnight moto camping trips and this is the bag that I take with me on all of them. So at the end of the video, if you stick around, we'll talk about some of my personal experiences with this bag and something that I'm not too sure about. In the meantime, let's go over the specs. Empty, this bag weighs five pounds. It is seven by 12.5 by 21 inches approximately. It has a capacity of 30 liters. It is made of a PVC durable material that is electronically heat welded and thus waterproof. Now, what unique features does this backpack have? The first one is it has this air purge valve here. And if you take it down and unscrew it, and push on it, you can compress it down and save yourself some space. I personally never use this feature because I always pack this bag so full that there's no air left inside to squeeze out, for real. It has some molly webbing on the front, which is used to strap down the bag to the back of the bike. I really like the straps that come on this bike. It makes it very easy to secure it down to the bike and it doesn't slip off. Speaking of not slipping, it has a non-slip pad on the back so that it goes on your rack and doesn't move around while you're riding. That combined with the straps makes for a very secure ride for all your stuff. It comes with the four tie down straps and to use them, you simply loop them through the four corners of your rack on your motorcycle and then hook the strap into the molly webbing and just cinch it down. If we open up this pocket right here, you can see a few things. There is a small Velcro pocket right here where you can put a water bladder if you so desire. And you should be able to take these straps out in the back and put your tube through there so you can drink your water. Obviously, of course, we've got backpack straps here behind the non-slip pad. Now also on the back side of this pocket here, there is a map pocket and I have never used that. I think that uh, when you have this thing strapped down on your bike, it's not really accessible. <laughs> now the next feature is it has a water bottle holder on the side and I use this all the time, either for water or for uh, an extra gas bottle. Ironically, I've never had to use the gas bottle, but it's cool to have it on the back. And of course, it is waterproof by roll top design. Everybody knows what a roll top bag is, so I won't go into too much detail on that. Now let's talk about some practical uses and some of my personal experience while using this bag. Let's get this out of the way. I have never once used this bag as a backpack. If you have used it as a backpack, feel free to drop in your experience in the comments below. I, however, have exclusively used this as a tail bag for my moto camping kit. It's a little big for day rides, but for moto camping, it's just perfect. I put my tent, my sleeping bag, all of my big bulky stuff in here, and I can fit a full campsite's worth of uh, amenities in there, usually soft things. And I personally, if you buy this backpack, I can see a use case where you would wanna use it as a backpack. However, I'm just not too sure about using it as one personally. It seems like it's a little bulky for that. It would work, it'd probably be a good backpack. But for me, I've never used it past the tail bag part. Even when I'm moto camping, I've never used it as a backpack. Now, one of the most useful things I find about this is that typically the tents that you use for moto camping don't have a lot of storage space in them. So it's really nice to be able to take this waterproof tail bag and put all the stuff inside that I don't want to get wet, like my motorcycle boots or my extra clothes, and I can just leave them outside the tent and I'm not worried about the dew or the rain getting to them. Very nice in that situation. Some of the things I love about this tail bag after using it for two years is just how tough it's been. I mean, this thing is solid. 
It's still in perfect working condition. The only bit of wear I've had is where I had some bolts sticking through my rack due to some modifications I made, which I have since removed. Some of the bolts just wore a little bit into this pad, but hardly at all, it's still completely usable. The fact that it only did this little damage to this bag is incredible. I had a, another bag that I put on the back of my bike one time and the bolts instantly wore through the bag in one ride and it totally ruined it. And this one has been just fine on the back and it's still fine. And I'm gonna be using this for, for a long time. I really like the strap system, those rig gear straps. I actually, sometimes I don't just use them with this bag, I'll actually use them with other mold bags that I've had that I've wanted to take on day rides. And, and they're amazing. I really am impressed by those rig gear straps. And I will probably own those rig gear straps even if I didn't own this bag. That's how highly I think of them. Now in closing, this is a great option for your adventures. I would highly recommend this bag and I've really enjoyed using it myself. If you are interested in purchasing this bag, please use my affiliate link in the top comment in the description below. I'll get a little kickback from it and it will be a no extra cost to you. Now just to make things clear, this is not sponsored by Nelson and Rig. I just really like this bag and wanted to talk about it because I think it's a great option. And as I said before, if you guys have any experience using this as a backpack, feel free to let me know below or if you have any experiences with it, good or bad. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button on there so you'll be notified every time that I release a video. As always, thank you guys for watching. God bless. If you guys are interested in seeing some of the things that I pack on my moto camping trips, click on this video.